Hey, did I call it or what, huh? Didn't I say that there'll be more women coming forward against the Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax? Article on Fox News published by Matt Richardson of Fox News. Title, Virginia Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax accused of second sexual assault. I told you the guy's a dirtbag. <clears throat> Second woman accuses Virginia Lieutenant Governor Fairfax of sexual assault. Virginia Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax was hit with a new allegation of sexual assault on Friday afternoon, just days after the embattled Democrat was accused of sexually assaulting a separate woman in 2004. Fairfax denied the claim, labeling it demonstrably false. Meredith Watson was quote-unquote raped by Justin Fairfax in 2000 while they were both students at Duke University. Smith Mullen, PC legal counsel representing Watson, alleged in a Friday news release. Mr. Fairfax's attack was premeditated and aggressive, the release went on to claim. The two were friends but never dated or had any romantic relationship. Miss Watson shared her account of the rape with friends in a series of emails and Facebook messages that are now in our possession. Additionally, we have statements from former classmates corroborating that Miss Watson immediately told friends that Mr. Fairfax had raped her. I deny this latest unsubstantiated allegation that is demonstrably false. I have never forced myself on anyone ever. Well, I don't know. I mean, when you grab someone by the throat or by the back of the head and slam her down between your legs on your crotch, what the hell's that? Fairfax said in a statement after the accusation was made public, I demand a full investigation into these unsubstantiated and false allegations. Fairfax continued, such an investigation will confirm my account because I am telling the truth. Fairfax said the allegation was part of a vicious and coordinated smear campaign orchestrated against him. He also pledged not to resign. Well, you can pledge all you want, you know. Your governor must feel the same way. Guess what? There's ways to get you guys removed. Legal ways. But the newest claim combined with the allegation made earlier this week led to calls for Fairfax to step down. The allegations against Justin Fairfax a serious and credible Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe tweeted Friday, It is clear to me that he can no longer effectively serve the people of Virginia as Lieutenant Governor. I call for his immediate resignation. Earlier this week, California College professor Vanessa Tyson accused Fairfax of forcing her to perform oral sex on him in 2004 during the Democratic National Convention. Fairfax called the allegation a political smear. You know, I'm going to have to do a search to see if Meredith Watson's Republican or Democrat. If she's a Democrat, well, what can I tell you? The guy's toast. He needs to step aside. He's not going to make it. That's sort of what I think. I'll attach the link. You look at it. You let me know what you think. But didn't I call it? Didn't I say more women would come forward? How come they're not having a congressional hearing on this dirt bag, huh? Or Ralph Nordstrom, how come they're not having a hearing on him? Absolutely insane. What's good for the goose isn't always good for the gander, right? I told you, more women will continue to come forward. Trump needs to let us know where that 17 million, why that 17 million was paid to those people that accuse representatives of sexual misgivings. Let's remind Trump that he owes us that information. He said he would provide it. Maybe he needs a little bit of a nudge, huh? Go ahead, give him a nudge. You might want to repost this on all your social media accounts. You might want to send a copy to Justin Fairfax. Let him know it's time to move on. What else is he going to do, huh? It's amazing what a little bit of 
in proper sexual encounters can do to destroy someone's career. Thanks for listening.